Hi guys, my name is Vin, and for this video I'm going to show you how to decoupage a plastic planter for your plants. If you're not familiar with what decoupage is, it's the art of decorating objects with paper. I have a couple other decoupage videos uh, where I make Easter eggs, but in those videos I used regular white glue because that's all I had. For this project, we're actually going to use a product called Mod Podge, which is a glue that's specifically made for decoupage. And I'll link it down below for those of you who want to purchase it off Amazon. So let's get started. For this tutorial, you'll only need the Mod Podge or any other glue sealer and a small paintbrush and a small bowl. For my paper decoration, I'm using tea stained fern leaves from my design collection and I will add a link to my tea staining video. You can use any fern leaves if you already have a fern leaf cutout design in your collection and uh, you can basically use any color for this since we're working with a white planter. I think any color leaf would look stunning for this project. But if you get a chance, try out the tea staining because it really is a gorgeous look it, and it just works for any decor. It works for farmhouse chic, works for vintage, works for neutral. I just really love it. And now the most exciting part of this tutorial to me are these beautiful plastic planters that I discovered on Amazon. And some of you guys may already have known that they exist. I had no idea that I could get such pretty planters at such a cheap price. Um, I, originally I was going to do this project with ceramic planters, but since we're still on lockdown here in Ontario, I decided to look on Amazon and surprise, surprise, there they were, these beautiful, inexpensive plastic planters. So I ordered them and they came and boy was I impressed. I got mine in a set of five and I think depending on what country you live in, they may also come in a set of three, but I'll link it down below. Um, I'm using cream white for this project, but they also come in different colors. And the size I'm using is seven and a half inches wide, which is pretty big. They fit most of my house plants. The other thing about these planters is they come with trays and drainage holes, which is great for plants, but I feel like the drainage holes that they come with are too small and there's not enough of them so just a heads up if you want to put your plants directly into them you might want to add additional drainage holes so to begin I pour some of the Mod Podge glue into a small bowl and the reason I do this is I don't want to get into the habit of dipping my paintbrush into my Mod Podge container because I know some colored cardstock bleeds like the color will actually go onto your paintbrush um, as you're brushing and I don't want to get any color in my Mod Podge bottle. And now to get started, take your fern leaf and decide where you want it on your pot. And um, I didn't do it here, uh, but I should say that it, the paper goes on easier if you brush on a layer of Mod Podge first onto your surface. Um, I do that later on in the video, but for this leaf I didn't do that. So all you do is just place your leaf on and then start brushing the glue over your leaf and use as much glue as you want. Um, make sure you're covering the whole surface because remember this is the act of sealing the paper onto the pot. So you wanna make sure it's covering all surfaces of the paper. And if your leaf moves or shifts a little while you're brushing, you can, as long as the glue is not, isn't dry yet, you can move it around to fix the position. When your leaf is pretty securely glued onto your planter and you get near the bottom, you can cut off whatever excess fern leaf you have sticking out of the bottom, but make sure you leave a tiny bit to wrap underneath the planter. And just keep going over your whole leaf to make sure you have it all glued down. Sometimes parts of your paper will lift up as you're working and you just wanna make sure that you're continuously going 
at going over what you've already done to make sure that you get those parts glued down. When you reach the bottom of the planter, this part's going to be the trickiest part. You're going to have to force the paper to fold around the bottom of the planter. And um, you can use your fingers to do this to force the fold, or you can just force the fold uh, with the paintbrush. And here I'm just continuously pressing down on the fern leaf with my paintbrush to make sure that all the surfaces are pressed down onto the planter. And that's it, that's our first leaf done. And you're basically gonna repeat the same process all the way around to the planter. And now I take my second fern leaf and do the same. I position it where I want. And I like to stagger the height of uh, each fern leaf. You can do it however you want, but I like the uh, difference in height with the leaves. And here, like I mentioned earlier, I'm putting some Mod Podge down before putting my leaf down. It just helps to hold it down better. And then once you're happy with the position, again, just brush the Mod Podge on all over the leaf. Mod Podge does dry clear, but you can go ahead and, and just smooth out any thick areas of glue that you see. And here I just wanted to show you how um, you can use your fingers to fold that last part of your fern leaf around the bottom of your pot. My fern leaves come in different sizes and here I'm using one of the smaller fern leaves. And so you just keep gluing fern leaves all the way around your planter. And then remember to keep going over uh, all the previous leaves that you glued on to make sure that none of the paper has lifted. And then you can just take a look at your final design and see if there are any spots where you want to add more fern leaves. I found a few empty spots that I wanted to fill, so that's what I did here. And I just want to point out here that it's okay to overlap your paper uh, as long as you use plenty of glue and make sure that all pieces are flattened to your pot. And if you'll notice here, I didn't even go all the way down with this leaf um, because there was already leaves underneath. Uh, I cut it off short at the bottom. And that's it. Once you're happy with your final design, you're done. I want to talk a little bit about waterproofing your planter. I don't show it here, but you can go over your whole planter with one or two extra layers of Mod Podge over the whole planter, and that will protect it from random water droplets here and there, but it won't 100% waterproof it. Mod Podge does come with a version that's dishwasher safe, which sounds really fun. I don't have any experience with it. If anyone does, please comment down below and let us know if that would work uh, on plastic. I know it was meant to be um, for ceramic surfaces. Another thing you can do is spray your planter with a clear coat varnish. Again, I don't know uh, how that would work on plastic surfaces. Um, and if anyone out there knows, please comment and let us know. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for following along. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more content from me or you can follow my Instagram and Pinterest at Chive Design. I post daily photos of all my designs in different colors and different finishes. So if you're interested, please follow. Thank you.